What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Dying Light the Following. In today's episode, I'm showing you how to get all of the 15 unknown strange rocks, and where they're located at. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Alright, and to start us off, we are going to the top right of the map, in this little alcove here next to the Volatile Hive? No, that's over there. Uh, next to this little bridge, I believe, um, Thor, the Freak of Nature, is right there. If I'm not mistaken, but you want to go back here towards this fence where my waypoint is and just like swim over here to this rock And you can probably already see it right there in the water But you want to jump down here swim to it and there's your first rock All right, and for the next rock you want to go to this location on the map where I have it marked the first one was just over here so you have to go up the hill, go across the bridge, and just basically go over here. Um, this one, it's inside a volatile hive. I believe this one's cleared, but just in case, I got myself some flares and some firecrackers. And a UV flashlight. So, <clears throat> let's take some of those, and then avoid that viral that's um, very desperate on chasing me. <laughs> let's turn on our flashlight. Uh, you want to go all the way to the back of the hive. Okay, so, haven't got any message- okay, there's the message about entering a dark area. Um, let's see. That's the thing with Ezgi. She wouldn't- yeah, okay, she's not still here. Good. I was gonna say that it's a broken game mechanic if she is. She's not supposed to be. Uh... I don't see anything. I just hear screeches. Which is perfectly fine by me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so everyone's gone. What you want to do is go all the way back here to this little spot and you will find the second rock. Alright, now for rock number three. This one is pretty tricky to find on your own, so you might want to- or find during the day, so you might want to, um, bring some flares and some, uh, firecrackers and your UV light, and go to this location on the map. It is all the way zoomed out, it's right there. Uh, I'll slowly zoom in so you can see it. Well, slow as you can in this game. Uh, it's right here, some buildings, um, some herbs you can pick. Um, yeah, you just want to go right here on the riverbank, and, yeah, at night you should be able to see it way easier. Uh, there is a toad around me, and apparently a demolisher and some bandits, but it's right here. I just have my car, um, over there with the headlights on, but it's right here, and it glows during the night, so that's why it's super easy to see. Anyways, there's the third rock. Next up is rock number four, where we go inside the cave. It's um, basically where the Temple of the Sun is. Uh, let's zoom in. Oops, wrong one. Um, the last location was right here. Wait, um, it was right. Oh, come on now. I've forgotten. It was right here. And you have to go over here to the Temple of the Sun. Um, just go here. Don't actually go up to the altar part. So what you want to do is come here, hop over this railing. I'm turning my flashlight. All right. Let's see. You want to start uh, slowly descending, making your way down. Don't take too big of leaps so that way you uh, take lots of damage, unless you have lots of med kits to back it up, like I do. Um. Yeah, right here. And I believe it's right here. Could be wrong on that, though. No, it's not there. Uh, further down? No. It was somewhere nearby. I go too far? Oh, 
Oh. Is it just right here? Um, here, maybe? Ah, okay. So it's right here. You want to look for a, um, little, you want to go down to the water and look for a little arch, I guess, like a bridge across, and then you climb up here, and it's to the left. Alright, now this one, it isn't too, um, difficult. It's just very tedious and annoying. So what you want to do is find an isolated zombie and kill it. And, uh, make sure you have the, um, survivor rank to where you can use camouflage, right? Just camouflage, you don't need camouflage attack. But, I mean, it, it doesn't really hurt to get it as well. Um, what you want to do is get that and then come to this, uh, scarecrow statue at... Wrong way. At this point, um, you were just over here. Now you want to move over here. Jizu's farm is right here, so it's like outside and to the left, I guess, going down this road. But you want to come right here. Also, I'm using firecrackers as distractions. Um, my car alarm just went off before I started this. But there's um, a few distractions, and then it's right here. So pick it up, and it's yours. Now on to unknown rock number six. It is right here, zoomed in, right here, zoomed out. Um, Bilal's, uh, not not Bilal's gas station. That's that's over here. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jasir. Jasir's farm is right there. And here it is, zoomed in. This is the place you do go to um, save Aircon, 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 whatever you, or however you want to pronounce his name during the mission uh, Lazarus. Anyways. You want to just get down here to this well in any way possible. And then I don't believe there are concrete... Yeah, there's not concrete slabs over this one. So you just hop in, turn on your flashlight, and it's right there. The next rock is at this location on the map. It's in the city, but um, just zoomed out. If you don't know where the city is, this is it. It's um, right here. The Lost Gas Station, Jazir's Farm, Volatile Hive. And Volatile Hives aren't much reference, but oh well. Um, yeah, and you just go down the street, uh, ditch your car, and then walk over here. So there's it. There it is, all the way zoomed in for reference. It's at that point, or there. Anyway, what you want to do is come up here. It's down on a wall. You don't want to go in the buildings over there, or over there, or anywhere. You want to come here. Let's toss a firecracker. Just so we can ease our way down here. And then, you see two chickens on the wall. With one of their eyes as the stone. No, we, you see several on the wall. As one of their eyes for it with stone. Yeah, go over there. That's right. And it says never forget right here. But yeah, you walk up, take the stone, and then you go to the next one. outside the city like over here getting the um the rock number eight and now you're in rock number nine it's uh zoomed out it was from here to here zoomed in i'll try and go slow no, sorry <laughs> slow as this game can allow uh then it's in this little outcropping and you want to go about right here where you see those two outlines where the boat is and you want to go here where the two boats are and then just jump into this one and it's right here all right moving on to the rock at attila's house it's at this location on the map and it's kind of cluttered sorry about that um you want to go to this little outcropping of land right here um yeah here's a house kind of looks like a cross there's a gate right here. Um, but yeah, you want to go back here. And then, once you get to Attila's house, you want to 
hop down here. I'm just gonna go this way because I feel like I'll miss that jump otherwise. And then go here, hop down to where you don't take damage or much damage. Then go to where you just leave the safe zone, and it's right here. This rock is super easy. It's uh, right here on the map. It's like on a water tower. Um, you were just over here at the um, at Attila's mansion. Well, the mother's mansion, but Attila's mansion. Um, you're just over here. Now you go over here. About 700 meter difference, I want to say. So, put your marker on top of the uh, tower. Grappling hook. <laughs> And then it is right to your left. Or, yeah, here it is. Okay, so I grappled onto it. I missed it by an inch. Here it is right here. Also, inside here, there is the yo! exclamation mark paint job. Just in case you want it. And a few other items. Now this next rock is right here on the map. Uh, it's at my waypoint. Right here. Um... Well, I guess closer to there. Um, you were just over... God, where was it? You were just right here. So all you want to do is basically cross this ravine and go on this little island of sorts with all the rocks and the crags and whatever. Um, well, you want to go here, and you can see it as I turn around. It's a glow. It's right here. You definitely want to come over here at night if you're having trouble seeing it. Um, if you're having trouble seeing any of these, just go at night, bring lots of flares and firecrackers and your UV flashlight. But, there's the rock. Alright, we are entering into the final stretches. We only need three more rocks, as far as I know. Uh, anyways, you can already see it. Um, see the rock, you can see the faint outline and the glow. Basically, what you want to do is come to this location on the map. It's the huge, um, that's not me, by the way, that's a survivor. I'm right here. Um, what you want to do is come to the, uh, god, the, the oil factory? What, what would you call this? The factory? I have no clue. Anyways, come here. And then go to this little challenge poster. Oh, they glow in the dark. That's cool. But anyways, you want to come down here, duck under the train, and then grab the stone. Alright, I have to do this one kind of quick. Uh, let me just grab my flares out of my inventory and put them there. Um, it's right down here, as you can see, but we have a little bit of a predicament. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the rock right after I show you where it is. Uh, now that we're paused, we're fine. Um, you were just over here, so basically you want to run across the lake or around the outskirts and then hop in here, the racetrack. You want to go to this little loop to the right. Uh, near the hunting tower and this uh, unmarked building. Um, anyways, you want to go right here and then pick up the rock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 15th and final Strange Unknown Rock, or Unknown Strange Rock, or however it's pronounced or said, or however the order of the words goes. Anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to come down all the way to the dam. Uh, you were just here at the racetrack for number 14. Um, you want to come all the way down here. And then you want to look for this little outcropping right here. And then you want to go straight and basically just like follow this where where this pillar is right here. You just want to follow it to the right and then just swim downstream. You don't want to go too far, obviously. But you want to swim downstream and just spam your survivor sense until you see something in the water. So, um, I just went in the water and I placed it and I came back out. Uh, your flashlight doesn't really help you here. Also, a little trip trick if you're trying to play um like if you're trying to swim fast this doesn't go very fast but just um how you can go up and down uh for xbox it's uh rb or right bumper and then b so um what you want to do is just hold uh b and then just swim so this is me not holding b not holding b holding b not holding b holding b not holding b holding B. Okay, it's just a little trick I've um, picked up over the course of playing this game. Anyways, um, let's get to the 15th and final rock. It's right here, so pick it up, and now you have all 15. 
Alright, for this next location, you just want to um, start from the dam, just swim across, or go up here and go across, whatever. Um, you want to go to this abandoned house, uh, and just, I, I don't know if you have to clear it or not. Help! Help me, brothers! I can't protect this altar by myself, please! Alright, I don't know if you have to clear it or not, but um, I don't think so. Anyways, just go to the top here, and you'll see this, whatever this is. Alright, so you start to put the stones down, alright, sorry my watch is going off, and just fid fiddle around with them until you find them, and you can place them all. And the last one. Oh, it's not available during the day. Now I'm just making my way over. Uh, I put some flares into my um, current slot, just in case we run into some volatiles, but it doesn't seem that way. So, let's grab onto the roof, turn off our HUD, and I'll be quiet, because you'll see what happens next. Let's wait for that to go down. Alright. And then this starts to glow. So... It looks like this. I believe you just press X. Oh, let's do it with light off, too. Am um, I missing something? Oh, okay. So it's just that. Okay, so we just hit use. Let's wait till that turns off, then. And I will shut up. Hello, hello, mister. Wow, hello. What you got inside? Yes, hello, hello. <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor. Alright, okay, so, um, we got transported, we got taken away, and we are now a kilometer away, all the way up here to, I don't know, this location of the map, and let's turn on our HUD so we can see what we got, and we got five uran uranophobic fission cores, but that's not the interesting thing, your, okay, your belongings have been taken from you, look for them in your stash, okay, Ammo. Let's see. Yeah, five uranophobic fission cores and a uranophobic fabaceous ornithomancer. All right. So we have that. That's kind of a mouthful. But as you can see, let's go to this guy. Normally we wouldn't dare approach it. Oh yeah. So you don't want to really zoom in. If that happens. Okay, so it doesn't do anything to you guys. I need to find a regular zombie. Crap. Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. We have two shots left. Alright. Let's, uh... <laughs> Okay, now let's die. That was, uh, interesting, to say the least. But, if you think this Easter egg is over, it is not. We still have one more part to go to. So, 
I will yet again meet you guys there. <coughs> now we are here on the David and Goliath Island. I should put my marker there so those arrows stop. Okay, there. Um, we're here down at the bottom right. As you can see, my marker or er, waypoint is all the way out here, and we are in the bottom right corner of the map. Not the dam, but the right corner, like near this train track and the um, the barrier. So what you want to do is you want to come down here and just follow this along the ridge and swim out to this island and then go here to the waypoint. I know that's going to be hard to find exactly where the ship is, but I will swim to it and you guys can hopefully follow along if you're struggling as well. It definitely took me a while, but um, a marker is like it's... It's 69 meters from the end of this barrel. 68, 69, so it's like straight ahead, I guess. I don't know, it's still hard to figure out. I've been searching for this like five minutes. Anyways, you want to jump in here and um, use the trick I showed you in the um, other part that required swimming. You want to... Oh, that's not going to work there when you're trying to go uphill. Um, but you want to go all the way down to the bottom and crane lifts up the water basically <laughs> and you move faster it's a bit harder to do here because of all the uh, rugged terrain but um yeah you want to look for like dips and stuff and then you see this huge um like crater almost i guess like right here yeah my flashlight does nothing um yeah that still does nothing anyways here is the ship and it has a, uh, yeah, I'm, good. I'm just gonna go up for air real quick so we can examine it more. <laughs> okay, we're right above the ship. Yes, we are. <laughs> Let's get our vision clear before we hop, to, hop back down. So yeah, it's like, from the barrel it's 68, 69 meters. And then you just want to swim outward, outward from the tree. Like, coasting the bottom. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, you want to go about... Uh, 60, 70 meters from the tree, just straight ahead out here and coasting the bottom, and you should soon find it. It definitely took me a while, and as you could start to see right now, we have a license plate. Um, there's the, I guess, the abbreviation for Haran, and then it's HGC108J. I don't know what the J stands for, but that little zero in the corner right there maybe that's just like a rectangle uh as you can see we can investigate it um doesn't seem to be much else except for that uh also there's the not lost just exploring thing uh let's check the underbelly make sure there's nothing there yeah okay nothing under the ship nothing just okay and i will go up one more time for air just because i don't have um Max stamina, I guess. Wait, does stamina affect your, um, how long you can hold your breath? Let's see, let's check that real quick. Uh, agility, all the way to max. Come the best free run in the quarantine, run, jump, and climb. Okay, without getting tired, so it doesn't apply to swimming. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, we can now, uh, investigate this. <laughs> I do want to get a, uh, thing of this first real quick and then like that okay that's fine anyways now let's open up and see what is inside investigate opens a latch and as you can see we can search something we just random loot and eight dollars and here is the Techland stargazer outfit I'll show you that later and then blueprint for the uranophobic fabacious ornithomancer which is the gun we have right here I went the wrong way we have right here in our inventory so there you go you've learned how to craft the uranophobic fab fabacious ornithomancer which is a tongue twister. And I believe we have one more location, which would be the closest <laughs> stash. 
so I can show you what the Stargazer outfit looks like. And where would that be? Uh, right here. Okay. And, um, like coming over here. I'll see you guys over there. Here we are. Uh, this is the stash. So let's go over to outfits. Um, go all the way down to... I believe it is... Yeah, Stargazer. Okay, so skip the nationalities. General... Nationality following. No, we do not want that. And then we want the collectible outfit. So, where is it? Ah, Stargazer. It is right here. It's just uh, basically a plain shirt with a uh, plain green shirt with like shoulder pads and camo uh, fatigue pants. Um, let's check what the animations are. So, that sliding and just pretty basic. Alright. Uh, let's jumping. You can see a little bit of the arm, I guess. Sorry. And then this is dropkick. And then I want to see if I can get high enough to do a roll. Here it is. Oh, no. Everything's tinged green because of this toad over here. Alright, let's grab a weapon, let's just do this. What, that still hits me? Oh yeah, that definitely hurt me. Alright, so let's wait till that tinge walk washes off. And blood leaves our face. Alright, cool. Okay, just, um, pretty basic, you know, just normal um this is yeah crouch our shoes look pretty much the same jumping looking straight down yeah okay so it's basically just a plain green t-shirt with camo fatigue leggings or pants whatever anyways that will have to do it for today's um little i guess extensive uh easter egg hunt um because we literally had to hunt for the stones and um yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.